everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are here on our little corner of Jurassic Island checking in on all the dinosaurs and they're actually doing pretty darn good and let's go ahead start gathering up our donations from them collecting up from the museums we've actually been collecting a ton of money look at that we're almost up to three million coins again and I can't quite decide what I want to do with the coins just yet, but I'm thinking maybe expanding some more of that coral reef that we have going on down in the aquatic zone, or adding in even more of these safari lodges, because these safari lodges are really what is kind of helping to bring in a ton of the money. And I have added a ton of them down here. If you see, we've got like a whole bunch, another little city kind of built up down here. Look at all the coins. I mean, it may be just um, just like a thousand coins a piece from each safari lodge, but when you have so many of them, they really start to add up. Oh good, and we've got this area! So I also uh, paid to have a new area cleared out so that we can add even more safari lodges pretty soon. So let me go ahead and collect these and clear this out. <gasps> Look at it! It's got the giant little bogs! I always thought this was a footprint and I realized that probably doesn't make sense even though there's a bunch of dinosaurs. This is probably not supposed to look like a footprint, but it always struck me as a footprint. So we're gonna go ahead and clear these out. Even my precious mushroom rocks because we need more room to expand even more over here I guess we do still have a few dinosaurs that we need to get. Uh, I'm not getting you buddy. Nope. Uh, not when he cost actual monies. I like the challenge of gathering up the bucks even though it's kind of hard. Yeah, it looks like we've got everybody that we can right now in the market until a new limited edition comes through that's worth bucks. Um, at least in the Jurassic Zone. And we're gonna go down into the Aquatic Zone in just a moment. Let's see, let's gather these up. Gather these up. Gather this up. There we go. Look at all that. Look at all that money. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so let's go down and check out what's going on in the aquatic zone. How's our queen? Good, good, good. So we've got plenty of food coming in. We're going to add a little bit more money towards being able to get tons and tons of food. I'm thinking, oh, Tracy, thank you. She's already got enough coins that we can collect those again. I am thinking we will level this guy up later. I might want to fight in the Jurassic. Look at that! Oh my gosh, so many coins. I might want to fight him in the Jurassic today. I'm not sure. I kind of am really into the glacial battles right now because we have just enough creatures that we can kind of continue to hit like a championship. We can continue to win all of the battles without having to spend too much time or invest too much bucks in winning the fight. And look at this guy. We could win this guy. Isn't he awesome? I want to win him. So he's currently the reward for gathering DNA points over in the tournament so we'll be working on that in just a little bit. I'm hoping we can get him. It's kind of hard to get enough DNA points uh, during the tournament times but we're gonna see if we can pull it off. Alright we're gonna come through here. Our little city of Atlantis is doing pretty well. In fact, oh look at those guys. Apparently these guys and these guys right here were somewhat close to each other or during the same time in prehistory and you guys are apparently definitely a fish so thank you guys so much for leaving those kinds of comments because like i've said before i've actually learned a lot through you guys about dinosaurs and prehistory because the modern era and conservation and animals from like right now are more my forte so you guys have been teaching me quite a bit about these guys like the Coleotrosaurus. These guys, oh my goodness. All right, let's see. So everyone here is doing okay. Let's check what our submarine has brought back. Ooh, some shrimp. We can feed somebody. Lots and lots of shrimp. Ooh, and there's a new DNA that we could get. Okay. It's always out there, so I'm just going to continue with the free DNA. All right, and then let's go ahead... I want to keep the food constantly coming in, so if we start leveling them up, it'll be easy. And let's go check in on the glacial zone really quickly. And then we might settle in and try doing a tournament, try doing some of the uh, little missions, especially in the aquatic zone, because I think that those missions are really fun, because they involve so much coral. And look at this guy, we're actually trying to get him, because look at him! I love his little ears, and he's got this nose, look at that! Was that decorative? Was that for fighting? Was that for foraging? What is the point of having that nose? I want to know. All right, two days left to try to find him, and I've actually been sending out expedition teams fully funded. 
Oh, I was really hoping we'd be lucky enough to find him. Nope. All right, off we go. Off we go with more bucks. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and let's continue to gather up more food from these harbors. And do we have anybody we need to feed? You guys! Okay, we're going to feed these guys. Now they're level 20. Oh, the glacial zone is quickly... Oh, look at this! Thanks! I'll take these results straight to the lab. Glacial zone is quickly becoming one of my favorites. What kind of missions do we have over here? Oh yeah, the stars! Oh my gosh, for kids day. Well, it's taking me a while to get those stars because these guys take like a whole week of being inside their little incubators. But they actually fight pretty well even though we're at this level. So I'm going to show that off uh, in just a moment. Let's go ahead and work in the aquatic zone for just a little bit longer. All right, yeah, we're going to try to win you, buddy. I really want to. And place five yellow coral bushes for tales of suspense or a giant fossil, which would be really cool. Or the hydrothermal vent. That's right. I think two people want the hydrothermal vent. Yeah. Thermal vent power. I wonder if that's the same as the hydrothermal vent. I wonder. So I want to put the hydrothermal vent down maybe over here. So let's see if it is actually... Is there like thermal vent power? Is that like a thing over here? Megalodon diner, repair bay, I'm pretty sure... Oh, it is! So thermal vent power is this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just like tuck it sort of back here and build it. And then I want a actual like thermal vent, which is super big and expensive and hiding somewhere back here. Let me see if I can find it. Look at how pretty all these are. I cannot wait to decorate more with these. I love that the quest demand that we decorate more. All right, there's the giant fossil, which would be absolutely awesome to have. And here's the hydrothermal vent. It is almost a million coins, but thankfully we have enough money for it. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. I thought it would be much bigger than this. Where can we put him? I wanted to put him kind of over there, but now I kind of want to put him next to like a whole bunch of our dinos at once so we can get a huge boost from him. Where could we get, like, a gigantic boost? We could get a pretty big boost over here. Maybe if I could just casually, like, we could get a huge boost if we put them over here, too, to guys who don't have a boost. Uh, what about over here? Here might actually be a really good idea, because I think the Mosasaurus makes the most. The most coins. 28,000 coins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I wonder, I wonder if I should move some things around a little bit. Maybe put the Mosasaurus. I have an idea. All right, let's actually move some things around. We're going to move my little Ammonite, who hasn't seen battle in, in eons. Like, he really hasn't. We're going to move him over here. And we're going to actually pick up the Mosasaurus and make room for him down here by moving these pieces or getting rid of the little road. We could get rid of the little road. Um, let's go ahead and remove the tracks. Because, I mean, they're in the ocean. They can go up. Yes, the tracks would probably, like, be a lot safer. But they're in the ocean. All right, let's just go ahead. And I can move the diner. Let's move the diner over into where... Um, there we go. Yeah, we'll move the diner over into where the city is. And that should help out. All right, there we go. So, Diner, you're going to come over here. Ooh, and actually, we could, like, tuck it in right over, maybe over here. There we go. Next to the fancy diner, so people have, like, their shopping complex being built this way. And then we need to move the little small coral patch. Probably could scooch it down over here. And this red coral needs to move over, so we can probably move it right here. There we go. Mosasaurus, let's move you. I want to move you kind of down here. I need room for the hydrothermal vent, so let's put him here. Hydrothermal vent, you're going to move because you are so expensive. And there we go, taking care of... Oh, I wonder if I can get Try in here. <gasps> oh, that might be a smart idea. Try is like our second... Oh, Try makes the most money because of where he's at. Look at him. Okay, so I wonder if I can move the small coral patch. And then I need the hydrothermal vent. 
I need to move my derma. That's what I need to do. I'm gonna move derma up here and get rid of the tracks again. I've like gotten rid of the tracks in pretty much every single one of our zones, but they really do take up valuable experience building space and we're freaking in the water. So I think it's gonna be okay. All right, let's move these barnacle stones a little bit. Scooch over here. Barnacle stone, I'm gonna scooch you over here. And then actually I could swap derma out with these guys. All right, hydrothermal vent needs to go kind of right in the center so everyone can be clustered around it like so and maybe like this so i can put some more things there and then you guys my little donkeys who make like no money i'm gonna have to move you guys and find a new money maker to put right there so let's see who makes the most we've got 24,000 31,000 39,000 because of that boost oh my gosh then we've got 14 21. So actually the Bacolites make a ton of money. So 21, they would make a ton more. 15, 19, 12. Oh, look at all of our beautiful aquatics. I love it. All right, the Bacolites are going to be moving in where the donkeys are. Bacolites, come with me. I'm going to temporarily stick you right over here. Oh, I love the little ruins that they've got in their enclosures too. Donkeys, we're going to move you guys down here if I can. I'm gonna move you guys somewhere. Okay, hang on. We're gonna move the little banana fish into the center, like so. And then the donkeys can kind of come hang out on the fringes. <laughs> That's the kind of kind of where the bronzes do end up, to be honest. All right, and then we're gonna move you over here and see how much you can pull in. 22,000, so that gained a little bit. All right. And then let's scooch the barnacle stones over. There we go. It's not a lot, but it's something. 30. And then we've got a little green seaweed right here. 31. There we go. I like this. And now I kind of have some of our, our big names hanging out down here. And then I can scooch you. Well, I can't really scooch you anywhere because of these. Uh, coral plates. Red acropora coral. I could scoot you over here. We'll figure it out. So we're still gonna scoot everybody around a little bit. Derma, I could put you back over here and focus on building up like a nice little coral reef along here. I like that idea. Cause I wanna keep Derma close by cause I really like Derma. So there we go. We have kind of scooched things around and let's see what else we can do. Um, we've bought the hydrothermal vent. Now we need more red acropora corals aquapora uh let's see the thermal vent power we placed we need more kelp beds <laughs> and yellow coral bushes and a giant fossil you know what i'm feeling kind of like spending a lot of the monies right now so let's go ahead and we're gonna get the giant fossil too if i can fit it somewhere oh my gosh it's huge derma can i like put it next to you can it hang out with you okay we're gonna move this coral up here Maybe, or down here, ooh, we can move the coral, ooh, or over here, that would be a good spot for it. And Derma, you need to scoot down, like, right there. And then, fossil, big giant fossil, <gasps> no way, we can do it, look at this, boom. Oh, I think I might have pulled a muscle, oh dear, so I guess he was helping us install it, there we go. All right. I'm starting to feel my age. Now that Jurassic Park is built, I have a few smaller but no less important life goals remaining in my life. Well, he is an ambitious man. Place an underwater cave, move a sea creature. There's something I've always wanted to try, scuba diving, and this is the perfect place for it. So lucky him. Oh my gosh. And now we're pulling, what? Look at how much money we're pulling in with these guys now. That is awesome. That was totally worth redoing a few things. And we still have a little bit of money left. I don't want to spend all of it too quickly, but let's see, sea flowers, purple seaweed, giant sea star, yellow coral bushes, uh, small coral patches. There's the red coral. Wouldn't mind lining the red coral down over here. Let's see, how many more do we need? Ah, oh, there we go. I feel like this is when we were getting pebbles all set up with her, um, okay, we need two more of those corals. This does feel just like when we were getting pebbles set up with her enclosure, to be honest. 
<laughs> when we started getting like all of the the big 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 um volcanoes and everything like that let's see red acropora coral let's put you over here and then just one more should i put it yeah let's put one more down here like so that was real smooth good job all right and you and Injun have been in these parts of the ocean before. Where are we, Dr. Wu? We're not far off now. You can make out big blue silhouette in the distance. All right, so sell a decoration and move two buildings. Well, we can handle that, no problem. Not too worried, but I think we're good on... Okay, updates. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think we're good on actually moving things around. So there's been some really fantastic updates to our underwater zone now. I'm pretty darn happy with it. Can, can I look at you guys? Can I get a closer closer glimpse? Oh, almost. Eww, oh, almost. Ah, it never wants to let me. Sorry about that. I always want to try to zoom in and like look at everything, but it never wants to let me. All right, so now that we have taken care of these guys, let's go ahead and we're actually going to go to the tournaments because we need to continue making progress in our tournaments so that we can get the bucks, so that we can get the DNA points. I really love the idea of winning DNA points. I wonder if we could add that to zoo crafting somehow. All right, so I actually made it to gold uh, a while ago and it bumped me back out because of the way that sometimes you'll enter a tournament and you'll get really far in it and then it'll just like kick you back two levels. It's a really annoying bug. I've written into them about it, but we'll just have to, We'll just have to continue fighting. I don't mind. All right, so let's see. We are gonna fight, let's see, one, two, one, two, three. Um, with these three, and let's see if we can do pretty well. Oh, look at that guy, I love his horns. They're just so cool. And the woolly mammoth, of course. All right, and we've got a little bit of fangs. I kind of worked on gathering up a few fangs for us to work with. Dun dun dun. I think this guy's weak to charge. Or bite, maybe? Okay, we're gonna try charge. Take him on. Oh, it was charge! Yay! Correct guess for the win. Oh dear. <laughs> He's a little bit stronger than us, but we've, we've got a few of our creatures with us. And even though we're very low level, I think only two of our creatures are over level 10. Maybe three. Um, I've noticed that actually if you play your cards right, that's not really something that means you'll get slaughtered in the fights. It's just, I think you're always paired up against uh, a bot that you could beat if you're smart with your moves. If you use the correct moves and you use the correct dinos and you don't just like send your weakest ones out every time, then you should be able to win. So let's try this out. Alright, gonna give him a little bite. Take that. The mammoth looks really cool when it has some stars under its belt. Alright, Sarcastodon is out, and then this guy is up. Alright, let's give you a little bite again. There we go, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my block now, just in case. Hopefully this won't end poorly. Come on, figure out what you're gonna do. If you're gonna, like, unleash a special, then let me know. All right, and then a little nibble should finish this off. There we go. See, not so bad. Oh, he's so cool looking. It makes me really want a giant sloth one day. Like in Inzu crafting or things like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the giant sloth has been extinct for quite some time, but it was native to the area that I currently live in, which is just a really cool little fact. All right, so we're going to try these guys out now. So let's see how the- oh, Titan Boa! Man, I would love to get Titan Boa the, and the Marsupial Lion. Oh, these are so cool. I would love to have these guys in our Glacial Zone. That would be so awesome. But for now, we're going to have to settle with trying to get up to gold level. Oh, I've never fought a Titan Boa before. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you too, dude. Is Bite good against him? Oh, it is good against him. Oh my gosh, look at him, Slither. I really, really want to battle a tight or like get a Titan Boa one day. Oh my gosh. Titan Boa battle, no way. Oh, 
I have hardly seen these guys. Why did I do that? That was the dumbest move. I was so enchanted with them, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't, I see, I, I, I've been, I've been hypnotized by the snake. That is so silly of me. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, Titan boy, you're amazing. I should have been more more careful and paying attention. See, it was just like, oh my gosh, he slithered off. <gasps> that was so neat. Okay, I think um, swipe is what's good against the marsupial lion. I can't remember. I I shouldn't have blocked with my gastronus because it's my bait bird actually. That's what I get for being so excited about Titan Boa. Is swipe good against you? I think anything would be weak against a kick in the face by this guy, to be honest. Oh, look at that marsupial lion. You are so cool looking. Oh man, all right. So next up is another swipe. Sorry, Bubba, it probably will be over quick. Look at them, they're both just like clinging on by the skin of their teeth. It's kind of amazing. Oh yeah? I'm not gonna put up with that buddy. All right, let's see. Our turn, and we're gonna do a little swipe. Oh, look at it! That is so cool! Man, this snake. Oh, I love that. Not that we got, like, knocked out, but just that the snake is so awesome. Oh, goodbye, Titan Boa. Meanwhile, this guy's super excited. Oh, he's looking good! You liked having those three levels from the food, huh? Alright, and we're on to the grand prize of eight whole buckaroos. Apparently we're fighting... <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. And let's jump on in. Oh, look at the grumpy face! That's a hilarious grumpy face. I wonder what's good against him. Maybe charge? Huh. So we'll have to try out some different moves against this guy. Oh, look at him! Oh my gosh, what does he do? Let's see, what would be good against something like this? Maybe swipe? I'm gonna try a swipe and we'll see if this is any good. Okay, swipe doesn't really do anything. That's okay, because this guy is my bait guy. Just to send out, kind of test everything. Um, what about charge? Charge is what's strong against this guy, noted. All right, he's cute. I like his tail. It kind of reminds me of the spider tail on the Iranian rattlesnake, the Iranian spider-tailed rattlesnake, which uses a, like, it looks like a spider on the end of its tail, a little growth that it has out of spines on the end of its tail that it uses to attract birds to it. And then it eats birds that go to try to eat the spider. That's actually the end of its tail, a really fascinating animal. All right, Kelican. All right, we're gonna have to clear you out, buddy. Let's see, I can't remember. Is it Bite that's good against a Kelican? I should remember. No, that did absolutely zero of zero. All right, well, now we've got our last guy out. We're gonna have to take this a little bit more seriously. All right. It's the wild boar unleashing the wild boar. All right. We're gonna go ahead and defend. And then I think, is it swipe then or charge? Swipe that's good against you? Swipe did something. And there we go. So we have won another glacial tournament. And like I mentioned earlier, if you really wanna try to avoid your levels being lost, one of the smart things to do, did we get enough to go into gold? Yes, we have just enough. We are in gold league. So the other reason I like not leveling my guys up right now, even though you think it would be smart to, is because I can actually come back in about four and a half hours and be able to fight again. And I can't do that in like aquatic or Jurassic when I fight, it's 
24 hours before I'm able to come back into the tournaments because of how high level all of my creatures are. But if I keep them low level, then I can get in the tournaments and I can win the DNA points without actually losing the ability to have them regenerate their ability to fight faster. So that's a little trick I've noticed. But you definitely want to go back to your zone after you win. You don't want to just like pop out of the tournament, close out of the tournament area. And yeah, we're going to try to catch this guy. That's going to be so cool. In fact, I am feeling a little bit, a little bit, let's see. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Do I want to rush this? Try to get this guy? I kind of do. Let's do it. We're going to rush it and see if we manage to get that rare DNA. No, but we did get three bucks back, so I don't feel quite as guilty as I, I could. All right, there we go. So we just spent the bucks that we earned, but it was worth it to try to add to our glacial zone because we don't have that many creatures in glacial zone just yet. So I would love to add some more. All right, you guys. So then the last thing you want to do is go over to your Jurassic zone and click around a little bit to try to ensure that you don't lose the levels that you just gained. You don't lose the bucks you just earned. It's just a smart little trick to do that I found. There we go. So hopefully that will help out. All right, well, I will see you guys next time when we will dive in. I'll have to see how many of the uh, tournaments I'm able to win with our Glacial team. Yes, and we're back over a million coins just like that. Fantastic. And we'll have to see how quickly we can earn up our coins thanks to progress being made uh, with our new, new arrangement that we have set up down in the... Let's see, gather up the coins. Come here down in the Ar Ar Arctic zone. So Arctic? No, aquatic. There we go. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.